Up late. From Marshall University in Huntington, West Virginia, you're up late with Jamie Lafiego. Tonight's guest, the owner of the Greenbrier, Jim Justice. Plus music by Quiet. And now, your host, Jamie Lafiego. Thank you. I know we're on camera. I just want to say thank you. What a special surprise we have tonight. Brooks Taylor is in the studio. You saw him walk in with me. I'm so excited. Yay. Brooks claimed to fame. He came up to me and said, I like your shirt. Does it come in a men's? I just, I can't deliver it like you delivered it. Say it. Come up here and say it for us real quick. Quickly. This is a very important show. Nice shirt. Let me ask you one question. Do they make it for men? I love it. Did you all get that at home? Brooks Taylor. Okay. Oh, get him out of here. Right, there he goes. Oh, goodness. Thank you, Brooks. And he's going somewhere. I don't know where he's going. This is it. We're back on the air, back from spring break. We're very, ex We're very excited to be here. Kyle, that wasn't in the teleprompter, was it? No. No, not at all. I have no that idea camera. what we're doing now. That, that camera. What? You're on that Hi. camera. Oh, there you go. Hi. Hey. Well, with spring here, that means two things. Number one, the semester is almost over. And Yay. two, it's baseball season. Yes. Kyle is very excited about I that. I am very excited. <laughs> about that. Are we doing? <laughs> Marshall Baseball has started as well, and they're off to a great start. And there's a great new promotion that they're doing to try to get more people to come out and see the herd play their games. Apparently, for the rest of the month of March, all season ticket sales are half off. It's a great promotion, but the only problem is no one knows where the hell they're playing. Baseball still. Oh, we got Nobody one little. Nobody knows. <laughs> Nobody knows. Kelly, she liked that one. She just a little smirk. Now she's going back Nobody to her iPad. Knows. All right, well, I need to clear something up real quick. I, again, I'm not the smartest person in the world. You can probably tell that That's by this for show. Sure. Thank you, Kyle. I get people confused all the time. This past year, I confused Lindsay with Jesse. At the beginning of this semester, I kept calling Bennett Bishop and Ashley, Rachel, and it, it, on and on and on. But I'm having a problem now with two more crew members, AJ and Brittany. Take a look. All right, so there's been a lot of confusion, and I just wanted to make this clear. I'm Brittany Barnes. AJ Meadows, Brittany Barnes, AJ Meadows, Brittany Barnes, AJ Meadows. Hi. So I hope that clears everything up. Hey, AJ, are you going to get some tacos later? Sure. Uh, I like tacos too. No one asked you, Brittany. I fucking like tacos too. Brittany oh. always trying to get tacos, gosh. Yeah, the audience is, they're, they're, it's like Three's Company, they're going, oh. Three's so Company sad. was a terrible show. Wait a minute, we're going to stop production for a second. Why do you say that? Because they didn't let Suzanne Summers jiggle more. <laughs> well, who was the other one? Suzanne Summers and who else? Who replaced Joyce her? DeWitt. No, Joyce DeWitt was always there. It was Joyce Suzanne DeWitt Summers. Joyce DeWitt disappeared after. It was, it was Chrissy and who else? Anybody know this? No, Janet was the, Janet was the... Oh, yeah, I got it. John Ritter. No, seriously, it was Chrissy for a while, and then they replaced Sissy. her. No, there was somebody yeah, else that came on. Was it Terry? Yeah. All right, if you all know, email us at watchuplate at marshall.edu. We really want to know this. I, I, I'm sure it was, it was Jack, Jack, and then it was... Joyce DeWitt. Joyce DeWitt, whatever her character's name is. No <laughs> Nobody one cares about, cared about Joyce DeWitt. And then Suzanne Summers played Chrissy, Chrissy for the first, like, four or five seasons, however long it went, and then, like, the last two, they had somebody else. I'm not making this up. I know you're not making it up. So who was it? Who was the other girl? And now we're listening to somebody that doesn't have a microphone on. Ashton's over there trying to explain everything. She's a big Three's Company fan. They wave to everybody, Ashton. Uh, again, you don't have a mic on. There's no reason to talk. Hi. Uh, she just looks pretty. That's all we have her around for. All right, for, again, watch, Marshall, watch up later, marshall.edu. That's our website, our email address. Check it out. and. and uh, Fill it in. You want a we're gonna get we're gonna get a lot of emails <laughs> yeah. like, what the hell are you talking about Three's Company for? <laughs> I hope our emails I'm come in like that. I'm watching this to laugh, and you're talking about a TV show. He's from not the watching 70s. it to laugh. I'll tell you that much. Not watching it to laugh, not at all. We're having a good time. We are having a good time. Back from spring break. Anything exciting happened to you oh, during the week off? Yeah, something excited happened to me. Are you leading into our first package? I our first am. little bit. I am. Kyle is talking about the Pancake Festival that we do every year, and I don't want to ruin it for anybody, but I was pretty disappointed. You should be. I, was, I, was, I wasn't upset, 
No one beat me. And again, I don't want to ruin it, but I was just disappointed in my own performance. I was disappointed in your performance. Take a look. Well, here we are at the 2011 Pancake Eating Competition. I'm being joined by my co-host, which has already started the competition, Kyle and AJ, Brittany Barnes. I get them confused. It's sad. This is it. Uh, oh, yeah, my family's out of focus behind me. Don't worry about them. This is it. What we do is we take as many pancakes as we possibly can and see how many we can eat. You can see the amateur. Brittany only gets one plate her first way through. Kyle, this is his second year, so he gets two plates. Of course, I've been here for the past 10 years, so I understand get three plates at the beginning, get started. Kyle, this is, I'm excited. I haven't not, I haven't eaten for a week, all right? And he's still going strong. <laughs> here we go. This is it. I didn't reach double digits. I got nine. Kyle had seven with five sausages. Brittany had a total of five pancakes, no sausages. Something about sausages in her mouth. She doesn't like that. Cliche. It was tough. Very disappointed in myself. My son's crying. My daughter clogged the toilet, which is great. But that's what happens at the pancake competition. <laughs> that's at, what happens. At the pancake competition. All right, let's go, let's go back to camera three real quick. Since, since uh, Ashton didn't have a microphone on, we have Sully, which he can sign for us. And she was saying something about Joyce DeWitt. What TV show? What's your favorite TV? It's Three's Company. He's going to do it real quick. There it is. That's legit. And Kyle, during the segment, he didn't watch the bit like a lot of people. Figured out who is it again? All right, Chrissy had a cousin named Cindy. Okay, so let's Sully. It was Chrissy, Chrissy, then her cousin Cindy. Chrissy. You have to go to the potty? No, that was a T, I know that, okay. But and, potty is, I know what potty means. And yeah. then followed and, by Ashton. <laughs> Carrie. Terry. Terry, again, I'm watching this, I'm watching him sign, I can't spell either. And then Joyce DeWitt's character's name was? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It, <laughs> Bennett? No. Janet. Janet. It's Joyce DeWitt. Everyone quit caring about Joyce DeWitt. Even Joyce DeWitt. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Sully, very much. Maybe we should put a microphone on Ashton. We should. We I should. call that duty. I will put the microphone yeah. on her. You'd like that, wouldn't you, you pervert? Probably not. Probably She'd probably not. hit me a lot. She'd probably hit me a lot. Well, no. Sully's a good guy, so I'll put the microphone on him. So we'll... we'll Title nine. I, I call that duty too. All right, there you go. All right, stay with us after the break. Jim Justice, the owner of the Greenbrier, if he's still here, he's going to come out and join us. We'll be right back. He's not watching the show too. Yeah. Leave <laughs>